Why should you visit Pyrin, Slovenia? Pyrin is charming, lovely, appealing, enchanting. These are just a few adjectives that could be used to describe the peninsula town of Pyrin. It's one of the best coastal cities in Slovenia. Situated between Italy and Croatia on the Slovenia Adriatic coast, the town of Pyrin is surrounded on three sides by the tranquil turquoise sea. For travelers visiting Slovenia, Pyrin is a top destination that shouldn't be missed. We are sharing our list of the best things to see in Pyrin. Things to see in Pyrin. Visit Tartini Square. Tartini Square is the elegant Italian style plaza at the heart of Pyrin. Oblong in shape, it faces onto Pyrin's petite inner dock on one side, and on the other is fringed by a row of neoclassical facades painted in a subdued rainbow of pastel hues. Tartini Square was completed 1894 and is the most visually beautiful part of Pyrin, both when viewed from ground level and from above, more on that in a moment. When wandering the square on foot, pay special attention to the blue and white municipal hall and the Gothic-style Benikenka, the only building on the square that retains its original 15th-century facade. See if you can spot the Lion of St. Mark, the Venetian Republic's unmistakable insignia, inscribed in stone. The prominent yellow building, Tardini House, is now a small museum dedicated to the square's namesake, violinist and composer Giuseppe Tardini. His statue stands in the plaza and inside the museum, you can view his violin. The canary yellow Teatro Pyrin on the edge of the harbor is another particularly pretty facade. Climb the bell tower for epic view. The most iconic views of Pyrin can be found from the top of the 45-meter tall Zvonik Campanile bell tower, which was built in 1608 adjoining St. George's. If the design looks familiar, there's a reason for that it's actually a replica of the famous St. Mark's Campanile in Venice. Unlike the tower over St. Mark's Square, Pyron sadly lacks an elevator, the only way to get to the top is by navigating a spiral wooden staircase of 146 steps. Don't worry though, it's more than worth the climb. Once you catch your breath, you'll be rewarded with a bird's eye view over Tardini Square and the inner marina. A narrow open-air balcony wraps around the entire tower so you can photograph Pyrin from all angles. The view eastwards towards the cliffs and Strungen National Park is also very pretty. For hefty bells set inside the tower ring out at 15-minute intervals. If you happen to be on the stairs when they start chiming, shield your ears, the noise is deafening. Visit the Church of St. George. Seeing St. George's Church is a must when visiting Pyrin. It's impossible to miss the hilltop church, but we strongly recommend walking up to the church to get a better view. Standing in front of St. George's Church, the Renaissance facade looms high overhead. The imposing effect was intentionally designed as a deterrence to possible invaders arriving by sea. The attackers would certainly think twice about attacking a town that had a population big enough to deserve such a large church. St. George's Church was built on the site of a previous church at the beginning of the 1600s. It was named for the town's patron saint. The space above the door was built for his statue, but has never been filled, so it sits empty to this day. Frescoes and statues adorn the inside of the church, which are well worth a look. However, the most notable piece of artwork at the church is the Crucified from Pyron, a realistic wooden sculpture of Christ on a cross. Behind the church, built separate from it in 1608, is the iconic bell tower of Pyron. It was styled after the Campanile of St. Mark's Church in Venice. Watch Pyron Sunsets Watching the sunset is one of the top Pyron, Slovenia things to do, and the medieval walls of Pyron are the place to do it. Through the arches of the remaining hillside town walls of Pyron, visitors have picture-perfect view of the setting sun over the sea. St. George's Church and the Pyron Bell Tower capture the last light of the day. The defensive walls of Pyron that were built on Mogaron Hill between 1470 and 1534. The fortifications include eight towers and mark the eastern edge of town. We think the elevated platform is the best place to watch the sunset in Pyron. Meander the colorful streets of the old town. 
The old town center of Pyrin is full of charming little cobblestone streets. Take some time to stroll around and explore the narrow alleyways. No destination is the best destination in Pyrin and the narrower the alley, the better. If done right you'll find some pretty sketchy, narrow, and steep stairways and beautiful colorful streets with overhead passages from one house to the other. Go souvenir shopping in some of the boutique shops or simply get lost in the maze of streets and stairs going up and down, and before you know it you're in a completely different part of town. Relax at the seaside. You've most likely come to Pyron to catch a glimpse of the sparkling Istrian coastline, and I don't blame you, it's stunning. With that said, there are a ton of ways to kick back, relax, and enjoy the bright blue water. In the warmer months of the year, swimming is extremely popular and there are small staircases all over Pyron's waterfront that lead into public bathing areas. Hop into your swimsuit and go for a refreshing dip in the clear blue waters of the Mediterranean. If you're looking for a more upscale experience, another popular venue for relaxation in Pyron is at a spa. There are tons of spas in the entire coastal region, many which specialize in treatments from the region's special salt. While most of the spas are in Port Aras, there are a handful closer to Pyron that visitors can try. Please subscribe our channel if you like our contents. Thanks for watching.